Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of January general love reading. Now, keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So, my beloved Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Turning Me On by Carrie Hilson. Now, it's very interesting. First of all, let's start with the fact that she's a Sagittarius, so you can be dealing with a Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. You got these placements. Also, this could be someone that you met in Sag season of last year. Sad season is November, December time frame. And keep in mind, we're still only just in January. So it can make a lot of sense where if you just met this person that time frame, like there could be a lot of turn ons and turn offs going on. Because in the song, the name of the song is Turning Me On. But then she says she goes back and forth between turn ons and turn offs. And one thing that's like sticking out my mind when she says in the song, wait a minute, little daddy, you got one more time to grab on my booty. In other words, like, hold on, stop being so touchy-feely, stop being so aggressive, I'm not ready for all that, you're moving too fast. Like, feeling violated is what I'm getting. So, I got two messages with this. For some of you guys, either A, this person, is the, the way they communicate with you turns you completely off, or the way that they are so aggressive that like they could be very aggressive physically and it could be an immense turn off is what i'm getting so even if you didn't meet this person in sage time frame again this person could be a sage sun moon rising venus and if you have strong sage placements in your chart this person may feel like that about you um what was another message i had something else to say about it okay okay so what i was getting was like i heard from turn on to turn that shit off <laughs> like initially you may have found something about this person a, an extreme turn on but now it's like it's overkill and you like turn that shit the fuck off it was a turn on at one point but now i want you to turn that shit off matter of fact just kick bricks kick rocks go ahead on because it's kind of like somebody's being overly aggressive with something and when it comes to communication it just feels like yeah they it, it's like it doesn't match up is what i'm getting here okay so let's see what we get for you guys scorpio sun moon rise and venus we're going to go through the deck until we get your Major Arcana, which happens to be the Death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get Clarifiers. Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you got the Moon. Things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. Pisces, also Cancerian energy here. I feel like some of you guys have discovered. Something has come to the surface. This crab is coming to the surface. So for some of you all, you may realize this person is a crab ass. Like, they could be crabby, like, just mean. This person, I'm also getting, like, not a morning person. You got the moon here. So you may realize this person is not a morning person. They can be very crabby in the morning. Um, like you may have just started, you know, spending a night with this person or you guys may have moved in together or something like that. Because, again, it doesn't have to be that you met this person in Sag season. It, I'm just putting all the variables out there. You just It just seems like this person is a crab ass. For some of you guys, you're like, oh, who's spitting your oatmeal? You know, it could be one of those things. You got the Justice card Libra. This, it seemed like things were very balanced between the two of y'all, but now you're not quite sure, okay? Both major arcana, so that's definite energy. So we, we're getting some stuff here. We're getting to it now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Venus. What we got here for you? We'll love it. What we got here? So again, we want the death card. The card comes before and the card comes after. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. It's like slowly but surely this person's armor is coming off. And when the armor comes off, you can see who's up under it. You can't see who's up under it now. I feel like now that the armor and the layers are coming off, you guys are getting ready to see this person for who they truly are. I keep getting over and over again. Somebody is definitely not a morning person. It could be very cranky and mean and that may turn you off. I'm going to tell you I'm not a morning person, but... It would really turn me off as like first thing in the morning someone's being an asshole. Like I would be so done. Because even though I'm not a morning person, I don't get up cranky. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not like that. I'm not rude and cranky to people. But that's how someone may be. Because you ain't going to start off my day like miserably or in a hostile way because you don't like mornings. Mm. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. Okay, and then it, that came up quick. So this is going to be something that you're going to discover. You Whatever it is, you're going to find out quick or you're going to feel like the need to address it very soon. Okay? 78 cards in the deck and look how quickly we got your card. So right in front of you, you got the fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. I also want to talk about the fact that this person has on a mask. Some type of mask has come off. They've been juggling. He's juggling all the zodiac signs. Something about this person you didn't see. Seven of Cups, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered. Okay? Could be definitely dealing with a water sign. A fellow water sign, rather. Could be a Cancerian. Yeah, that Cancer symbol in one hand, Gemini in another. And keep in mind, um, 
what do we have in the beginning? We had the uh, moon, Pisces, and then also the crab was coming up. So Cancer, and he does have a Cancer symbol in his hand. And then you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. So I do feel like, yeah, see, I, I'm telling you, for some of you guys, this person is not a morning person. And that may seem like something so basic, but if you start off somebody's day with bullshit because you feisty, then nah, I don't know. And this also could be you, okay? So, because look at how he's looking. You see how he look kind of disgruntled? Look at his face. Ooh, somebody mean as a whistle. Not mean as a whistle, but mean as a snake. Um, okay, now I'm saying whistle. Oh, this is interesting. Because I'm saying whistle, and it, he's not whistling here, but you see how the um the dragon is blowing out fire. See, somebody's like a dragon in the damn morning. Someone also could be a gym coach, or there's a referee. I'm just seeing, like, I've just looked at this, and this isn't stripes, but it's making me think about stripes, like the black and white stripes that referees wear. Somebody could be a referee. If you're not a referee or you're not dealing with someone who's a referee, this person could be a mediator. I definitely feel like somebody could be in sports. This is making me think about with this juggling. Somebody, somebody's in some type of sports. Or they're an official in some type of sport. Bottom of the deck, you have the hair font. Yeah. Okay, so you got two strong Taurus energies. King of Pentacles, Taurus. And then the hair font is a major icon for Taurus. So there could be a Taurus involved. Someone has strong Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, someone rides the Venus, rather. My apologies. Um... But the hair font, it's like this person, you may find out this person feels very much like they have control, like they have to have control over everything. And again, I'm getting somebody who is a mediator because you these two people have come to him for the, his wisdom, for his knowledge. So someone works in a field, you know what I'm getting? Somebody can work in a field where they're always having to mediate or they have to be in charge. And so when they get home, they don't know how to turn it off. Or when they deal with you on a personal level, they don't know how to turn it off. Like, they always feel like they have to be in control or have some type of predominant or overpowering say-so. Like, they don't know how to separate their job. Because pinnacles could also be job, you know. They don't know how to separate their job from their personal life. You know, they don't know how to juggle. They don't know how to balance things well. And remember, we also had the justice card that's balanced. Somebody doesn't know how to balance their work life, love life separately. They Like, they put everything all in one plate. Everything just all in one, you know, circle. Let's go ahead and part the deck. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody definitely works in a position where they're like, have to be a mediator. <laughs> they do. You have him mediate between these two people, and then you have this person like giving crumbs. You know, there's that scale again. Somebody possibly could have some very strong Libra in their chart. Something with Libra season also could resonate. September, October time frame. Again, King of Pentacles. Strong Taurus here. Okay, strong Taurus. Still got, you know. Strong Taurus for sure. You know, okay, thank you. Also, um, Taurus resonates with the bull. So someone is stubborn as a bull. And that's turning someone else off also. I got that, you know. It's like, you could be like, I'm trying to be peaceful and cool, but this person is stubborn as a bull. Because upright, he's fair and just and reverse, stubborn as a bull, okay? Got your bull right there. So let's get a clarifier for the Fool card as well as the Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you have, yep, the emperor. There's someone who has to have control at all times, but it's like you're not doing it fair. You're just being bossy and persnippity. Aries energy. Let's get a clarifier for the fool card. Okay. Hmm. Major account of the world card. Travel distance for a movement. So it's like somebody wants something to move forward, but see, stubborn as a bull. I'm trying to tell y'all. Somebody's stubborn as hell. And that's what you're learning about this person when this person feels like they've learned about you. You got Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio here, and we're in Aquarius season right now, so someone's going to find this out in Aquarius season, which we are currently, like I said, we're currently in that time frame now. You have the judge, because all this major kind of reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life, and reverse, it's like, I don't know if I can deal with this moving forward. You know, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm getting here, because somebody's confused emotionally. Somebody's like, I'm not sure if I want to move forward with this person. Someone could be a life half number seven. I want you to understand here, like here on the table, what you have, you have nothing but major arcanas outside of this seven of cups. Major, major, major. So this is going to be a major decision that someone has to make in regards to a love interest here. Or this is something that's like a major issue for someone is what I'm getting. Like, I, I just feel like someone's like, nah, I ain't going to be able to rock with this. Because the judgment card outside of like a reconciliation to bring us something back to life is like making a judgment call on something as well. Let's get a clarifier for the seven of cups. Damn. And I didn't even try to do that. Queen of um, 
Wands in reverse. Mm -mm. So, you know, wands is fire, action, tenacity. It definitely talks about forward movement. In reverse, somebody's like, I, I can't do it. Can't do it. Uh, somebody may make, you know, someone feel small. Yeah, because see, as I put the deck down, you have the five pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out of the cold, walking away. Some of you guys definitely are dealing with a earth sign, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very strong Taurus reference. You got the five of pentacles. Taurus season is um, April, May. May is five. And then just this one ear right here, it's like, it feels like somebody's holding my ear, like kind of blocking out. Um, Like, you know how when you go, if you're swimming and you go in the water and you come out and that water's in your ear and you can't hear anything, it feels muzzled. So I feel like for someone... Things go through one ear and out the other. Like someone is stubborn. That's what I'm getting. You, you're dealing with someone who's stubborn and it's like, you're not feeling it. You're like, no. Because it makes me feel small. It makes me feel like in order for us to coincide and, you know, connect, then I have to play small and some, and, and that's not going to happen. Just look at this energy together. And I feel like that's a turn off. Somebody is bossy. Someone wants to control things. Somebody doesn't know how to balance their work and personal life. And um, it's going to stop things from moving forward. Or it has already stopped things from moving forward. Is what I'm getting here. Okay? So, Scorpio, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.